Well, now that that's over with, let's check out some more things in Castlevania that I have found or otherwise done. Here's some different dialogue from Mina. We're, we're looking a little different these days. And Sam is a horrible liar. I think he wants to change his name to Penelope. Way to be awkward. Apparently Soma needs to get better fashion sense. Nope, I'm not gonna. Or then again, maybe I will. Oh, I've just been possessed by the spirit of Dracula, that's all. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> that's what you think. And... Yoko is still unconscious. Alright, well, now through the magic of save states, let's explore some other things that have been forgotten, left behind, or I just didn't know about. Like this, for example. This is back in, you know, pretty much the earliest areas. But you have to have Bat Soul, or the Spring Up Power, to get the Armor of Fire. And the Armor of Fire is actually not all that bad, it's just about as powerful as the Eversing. But I have Dracula's tunic, so screw it. Speaking of things that I didn't exactly miss, but I wasn't able to get, here we are in the Chaotic Realm. And it's kind of hard to show you on the map, because there is no map, but I'm in this room. And off to the right, or left, thank you Dyslexia, is the Chaos Ring. As my good buddy, uh, I have no clue for it too, but was kind enough to inform me. I'm not actually sure I knew about it. But once you get 100% of the souls, there you go. It's not quite as good as the Satan's Ring, but you know, it, it could be nifty if you don't have the Satan's Ring. Alright, on to more difficult tasks. Like this. This is what has caused this to be take two, because this is one of the enemies I missed. And it's not that. You require a Chronomage Soul before you can even think about fighting it. Yeah, those mysterious flashes. And can't hit it with a sword. And you can't hit it if you jump the gun. And I can't seem to hit it at all because it's not showing up. Damn it. It's really, really hard to get the timing down. And of course, it just doesn't show up half the time, so I'm gonna go reload my state and try this again. And forget that for some stupid reason I didn't have Chronomage equipped, because that would have been my perfect opportunity. I keep anticipating. And it doesn't show up at all if you use it too early. And if you use it too late, it's too late. Damn it! I hate fighting this thing, I really do. I'm about to say screw it. Because this is being really, really unreasonably difficult. Not one of those. There we go. And happily, the soul is really easy to get, but that's a skyfish, and it is a bitch. So, I'm glad not to have to fight it any longer. Well, other souls that have been missed, and other enemies that have been missed, include this guy right here. You remember him. I couldn't kill him fast enough before, but I certainly can now. So, there's his name. It's the Suchinoko. 
I'm going to assume that's how it's pronounced. And finally, there is an enemy here. The Iron Golem. You could sit here and pound on this thing all day with a sword and not really get anywhere. Or, you could equip a Killer Mantle Soul and hit it with a cloth and kill it instantly. Because it swaps the MP. Well, all that aside, let's let's go back to the master save state. Yeah, you'll notice some serious differences from last time I played. I gained 40 levels and spent just about 10 hours doing it. But, 100% soul collection. So let's go through them real quick. Blood sucking bat. That attacks using supersonic waves. Or the soul does anyway. And it throws bones. Fires a water pistol. That throws axes. Archer fires arrows. Not surprising. This one's kind of interesting. Identifies breakable walls. Which, no, I did not use to find any of that. A killer fish. Attacks enemies in the water. That radiates flame. You can throw a bird at people. Yeah, I kind of ran out of things to say. But... I do want to show you guys all the souls and their powers, plus the items here. Hopefully I have enough time here. I'm having to stitch some of this together. That was an important soul. That actually wasn't as bad as I thought. I mean, you can see the grind totals if I remember to do them, and I better have remembered to do them. That That's just silly. I don't know why that works. Oh yeah, I want to point this out. A man a little like figure. And there's a, a snake thing. And that's a very useful soul. I'm uh, more useful than I realized. That, not so much. I never tried that one out. Maybe I should. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be either. That's a very necessary soul for, as you saw. Lame. And wow, we're not going to have time enough for this all. So we'll get to 50, and then next time we'll uh, start off showing you some of these, more of these nifty little souls, and then boss time. See you then.